Yeah. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Friday. T-J-I-F. That's proper play. 16 ouncer. That is the it's noon hour on a Friday, so I'm about to have a pour because I need one because it's been a shit shite week. But we're at the end of it. That is the I, I don't even know why I, I'm, I'm I'm gonna get on my computer real quick to see if I can get into Brewer's Friend and tell you what the hell I brewed here. Because this is the um, I might not be able to do it like I just on here, guys. This is the revised, not intentionally. Um, more fun that I just brewed. Uh, I call it revised because I'm just see if I can get in here. Um, yeah, I'm on a new computer. It's not going to bring up my deal, and and I think I already posted what I what I put in this. Um, <clears throat> I'll put the link to the last video if you're on YouTube. Um, this is the more fun, but <clears throat> they didn't have. Excuse me, they didn't have. Um, I jeez, I don't even think, man. I think the only ingredient that. Um, was the same was Caro pills. They had that. I had uh, two row. Um, two row was there. So um, I think maybe the only maybe the only difference was um, was the uh, it's supposed to be Caro red. I think I used the uh, crystal fifteen instead. So maybe now uh, that is another ingredient and more fun too. Anyway, so it's two different grains I used. Uh, hops were completely different from the standpoint of the bittering hop. Um, Galliana wasn't able to get it. Um, so I think I used Columbus, um, for bittering, and then I decided what the hell, I'm gonna dry hop the shit out of it, didn't really dry hop the shit out of it, only put one ounce of mosaic in it, which I've never dry hopped this beer at all, you can really smell the mosaic on it, yeah, we were gonna do citra maybe, but they were all out of citra, I thought of a galaxy, they didn't have any galaxy, uh, you, you do what you can do in a pandemic, anyway, so, um, I tried this a few days back, it's not clear, uh, real cloudy, um, my setup's really, Fecked up at the moment. That was spelled F E C K, so I didn't really swear on YouTube. Um, she's all messed up at the moment, um, so I'm not able to do half the shite I like to do on a Bruins. I didn't get the coal grash. Um, um, didn't add any. Uh, didn't add any gelatin. I uh, didn't add any foining agents at all. Um, so this would be. When did when did I put this in the keg? Losing track, man. I think Sunday and today's Friday, so five days in the keg. Um, what I do is. 35 psi for 24 hours so on the gas 24 hours at 35 psi just turn the gas off um, 24 hours and then you're done i'm ready to go so all i did now is i just bled the pressure off put her down to serving uh, pressure i think i got her on about eight right now eight to ten psi to serve her up and she's nice to carb so i'm gonna stop me yapping and i'm gonna have a pour that's it it's early what the hell I just brushed my teeth, so that didn't really work out real well. Nice, man. That's good. It's totally different. I did have a sip the other day, so I already had an idea what it was all about. <clears throat> um, uh, it's good. I like it. I will pull it, post the recipe. Um, really light. Um, tastes lighter. Um, I don't know if it's because the bittering hops were different. It's got a, it's got a, it's got a lighter, lighter taste. Um, I didn't put any less grains. I think I actually put more. Um, and, and it does have a little lighter taste in the more fun, but totally different actually. Uh, it's amazing how it's a completely different taste. Wouldn't even consider it to be the same beer. So, gonna have to give it a new name. Maybe the more fun Mango Blonde Ale. Clever. Mosaics taste like mango to me. And it's a pretty good beer, guys. It's um, it's uh, yeah, it's really neat. It's it's if you're a hop head, you're not gonna love it. Um, not a real hoppy beer. Wasn't supposed to be. It's a blonde. Um, but it's more than a blonde um, because of the mosaic. Um, it's got that nice, I, I consider mosaic mango, passion fruit type of deal. It's got that nice aroma to it. Um, and of course, smell helps influence your taste. So it has that taste to it as well. Um, it's a nice beer. I like it. Um, brew it again sometime. Got so many other beers to get done. Got a close look at it. That's a nice color and stuff. But like I say, not clear at all. Um, I got so many other brewers I want to brew, so who knows when I'll do it again. But I will be saving the recipe because uh, it isn't the more fun, completely different beer. Uh, got to come up with a name for it. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Um, are you going to have a good weekend? 
Um, actually, if you're over across the pond or over in Aust down and over in Australia, you're uh, already into the weekend. Um, we are going to brew next weekend. I'm going to brew again next weekend. I think get my brew on. Don't know what I'm going to do. I might do this here in Nevada. Um, they actually, I, I have a clone for them, but they have a, um, they have a clone recipe right on their site. Never used theirs. So that's kind of cool. I've always wanted to brew that, that recipe that Sierra Nevada has on their site. Um, it's a five gallon batch. So I think I might, I might do that next because I really like a Sierra Nevada. Ah, it's good. I like it better than I did the other day even. Just a light beer. Real light. Um, I think the ABB is about five, but it's just, just real light, easy drinking. If the sun would shine, which it's not. Uh, if it was, you could drink a hundred of these. They go down nice and easy. Uh, you'd have a rough next day, but you know, what the hell. That's it, guys. Have yourselves a great weekend. This guy's out, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.